No, 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 there we go. Okay, isotopes, general concepts, know that. So it's changing the number of neutrons. Protons and electrons don't necessarily change. Isotopes tend to be less stable than the original. Uh, everything as far as the masses are based on carbon-12. Okay, we'll apply it down a little bit. We'll be done after this. Okay, so everything's based on carbon-12. Carbon-12 has an isotopic mass of 12 exactly. So let me say some things that hopefully you would have got fooled on if I had not said this. Okay, carbon-12 is precisely 12. That's called the isotopic mass. Isotopic mass. That number that you see up there on the periodic table, the larger number, is called the atomic mass. Or you could also say the mass number. What's the smaller number on the periodic table? The, the atomic number, which is the number of protons. So know the difference between those terms. The atomic number is the whole number that you see on the periodic table. The number that's not a whole number, the larger one on the periodic table, is the atomic mass. And this right here for carbon-12 specifically is the isotopic mass. Meaning the mass of this specific isotope, the atomic mass on the periodic table, is the weighted average. Alright, so, uh, a very common problem here is to ask you to find the uh, atomic mass of an atom. Okay, how do you do that? Well, that is equal to the following formula, the summation, I hope you like this kind of summation stuff. I have no other way of writing it. The isotopic mass times the percent, I'll put AB for abundance. So isotopic mass times the percent abundance. So each isotope will have an isotopic mass. And after that should be listed a percent abundance. This is another way of saying you're doing a weighted average, if you take statistics or math class. So all they're going to do is list out the top of isotopic masses and the percent abundances. You just multiply them and sum them all up. Unfortunately, this is a hard one to make up a question for, so uh, that'll be it. <laughs>